Hey folks, are you somebody who's looking to set up a home gym but always question the expense it will take to set up a home gym? Or you're somebody who always questioned the gym membership? Or you're somebody whose work schedule always conflicted with your workout routine? So let me show you how to set up a home gym that is pocket friendly, budget friendly, plus also it will help you maintain a healthy lifestyle, lose weight and gain lean muscles. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel, Dory Dreams. Hope everybody is doing great and is fit and fine. My name is Gaurav. We'll talk about the home gym setup today. So first thing first, I'm not a certified gym trainer. If you are just starting out, please, please consult your physician before you do anything. I have been working out since 2009 using this setup and have had a lot of success. For example, between 2009 through 2011, I was able to lose about 50 pounds just using this setup and a good diet. Plus, also in the last two months, I've been able to lose about 11 pounds just using this setup and working out at home. So I thought this information will be very helpful for somebody who's looking to set up their home gym plus also who's looking to stay active, lose weight and build lean muscles. Based on my experience of working out, there are three important things that you have to always think about. First is set some time apart for working out, be it morning, be it evening. Always try to get in four to five days of workout for 45 minutes every single week. Second is you have to understand internally the importance of working out and staying active, especially given the time we are living in. We spend a majority of time in our home offices or for that matter at desk. We are sitting most of the time. And the third is to remain healthy, your workout, your diet and your sleep. These are the three important things that you have to do every single day. So I divide my workout session into three or four segments. The first one is warm up, the importance of Warm-up is immense. The warm-up is one of the most important things that you can do uh, for your workout. Never ever start your workouts without a warm-up. For warm-up, you really don't need any kind of equipment. The goal is to get some stretching done so that your muscles are ready, get that heart rate high a bit so that you're ready to work out. I would generally do some kind of stretching. If you're into yoga, you can do Surya Namaskar or the Sun Salutation as they call it. Uh, whatever works for you. And I'll show you what I do on a typical basis. Second is your cardio, your cardiovascular activity. Taking care of your heart is as equally important as you take care of your biceps. If you have access to a treadmill or an electrical, that's great. If you don't, you can just go out for a walk. That's what I used to do every morning. I would just go out, I would do light jogs, or maybe walk and run, whatever works for you. If you don't wanna do that, you can just use these stairs like I have got over here and just go up and down. Do whatever works. So the goal is to get that heart rate high. Fun fact about heart rate is that if you're trying to lose weight, you have to achieve a certain level of heart rate. If you go beyond that, your body is totally into cardiovascular activity. So just figure out what works for you, what, what your goals are, and adjust your heart rate, adjust your cardiovascular activities according to it. Segment number three is your strength training or your weight training. This is a segment where I got stuck a lot in the past. Having the right equipment for your strength training is absolutely important, but you don't need all the gym equipments that you see at your local gym. What you have to understand in strength training is that you are hitting the right muscle and you are applying the right weight that you can handle. 
and given that this is a home setup i cannot get all the equipments so what i've done is i've tried to make things work for me. so this is the strength training setup that i use on a regular basis this is a bench i got for about 60 to 80 dollars from amazon then i've got a pair of adjustable dumbbells each dumbbell can go up to 20 pounds each plus also i've got a pair of 10 pounds dumbbells over here the good thing about these dumbbells is that this plate is about seven and a half pounds and these smaller ones are for two and a half pounds as well what i also do is when i have to get ready for a set i, I would use these smaller ways to get my muscle ready and get started another thing that i have added to my fitness regime are these resistance bands the great thing about these bands is that i can travel with them anywhere that i'm going it is amazing that you can do a full body workout using these bands definitely check them out i got these from amazon for 40 50 bucks and then lastly i've got a rice bag over here which is about for 20 pounds i use it sometimes for my weighted squats not promoting the rice brand over here as you just saw you don't need a lot of equipment to set up your own home gym see what you can get plus also be creative in what you can use from your home one thing that i'll tell you is that with weight training the form is very important if you don't know the exercise make sure that you learn about the exercise before you perform and also the goal is to have a productive workout if you haven't checked out my other video about productivity make sure you check it out i truly believe productivity is motivation times two so to have a productive workout you have to be in the right mindset so that you are motivated understand the importance of doing workout when you are working out don't think about any other thing just block out that 45 minutes so that you can focus on your exercises and be done with it the last segment is the cool down or the wrap up where you do enough stretching and also to use those muscle rollers. This is as important as a warm up because if you miss this part, you will have a lot of soreness the next day. So folks, as you just saw, you don't need a lot of equipment to set up your own home gym. You just have to get creative. It doesn't matter what equipment do you use. At the end of the day, you have to put in the work to achieve your health goals. There's no magic supplement. There's no magic diet or no magic super food that will help you meet your health goals. You have to put in that work, get that body moving to achieve your right results. One thing that I'll also add here is that if you're into fitness trackers or wearables, make sure that you get one that helps you track what activity you are doing. I use an Apple Watch, that's my device of choice, but you can use anything that works for you. If you're looking for ideas on how to use these resistance band, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to share it with you. So I hope you like the information shared in this video. This video was for beginners or somebody who's looking to set up their own home gym. So if you like the content, please do share, like and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, stay active, stay healthy, have a good diet. I'll catch you in the next one.